From somewhere in Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. You put this in your mouth and it is just zippy. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. Helps turn the mic on. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of my program. That's my program. This is me right here. We appreciate your patronage, as they say at the, the Greek coffee shop. That's right. Oh, yes. And look what this new study says. A new study says that women are more worried about debt and a lack of free time than their marriages and careers. <laughs> the survey for Psychology's magazine, which I've never heard of, heard of Psychology Today, what is Psychology's magazine? Well, that's that's for the uh, the writer to know and for us to find out. The survey for Psychology's magazine asked women which luxuries they most desired, and seventy eight percent opted for being debt free. Well, gee, we'd all like to be debt free. You know how to be debt free? Stop spending money you don't have. That's how you're debt free. You understand? There is no magic to this. Stop spending money you don't have. Stop. Stop it. Jesus. I wish I was debt free. I don't know how this happened. You spend money you didn't have. I wish I had more money. I wish the the bill collectors were in call in here and I had to hunt. Stop it! The bill collector wouldn't be there if you didn't spend money you didn't have. Jesus! It says here only 5% of the women surveyed said they felt well off. 6 out of 10 said they owed on credit cards with an average debt of... Oh, this is why I never heard of Psychology's magazine. This is from England. <laughs> okay. Six out of ten said they owed on credit cards with an average debt of 5,000 pounds. While almost a third owed on loans with an average debt of 10,000 pounds. Having more time was also a priority. Well, again, if you didn't have to work so hard to pay off the debt from spending money you didn't have, you'd have more free time, wouldn't you? You idiot. Should I say idiots? Yes, free time was named by 76% of those questioned. The average woman gets just 77 minutes a day to herself... And 80% said they did not have enough time to see their family and friends. Of the 1,500 women surveyed, 62% chose a happy marriage as their top priority. While 60% most desired a job that fitted their lives. Only 30% of working women said they found their career fulfilling and only 25% found it, quote, financially rewarding. Only 30% of working women said they found their career fulfilling. You hearing this? Only 30% of women found their career fulfilling. Only 25% found it financially rewarding. Well, whose fault is that? Whose fault is it that your job, your career is not financially rewarding, girls? Who put a gun to your head and told you to become a librarian or a kindergarten teacher? Who told you to do that? 
Says here, the survey also found that the vast majority of women do not feel safe in their own neighborhoods. Three quarters of women did not feel safe on the streets where they live after dark. And 82% did not feel safe traveling on public transportation at night. Maureen Rice, the editor of Psychology's magazine, said women today are yearning for more meaningful lives and basic pleasures such as a free weekend with space for themselves, their families, and friends. At present, many women find life all work and no play. Women want a better balance, a better quality of life, despite working more than ever before. Women don't feel any richer. Guess what? Stop spending so much money! Stop it! Do you need that many pairs of shoes? Do you need that many pairs of sneakers? Do you need that many handbags, ladies? Do you need to get the new cell phone every three months that comes out? Do you need all those clothes that you wear once and put in the closet for five years? You age them long enough to feel good about giving them the goodwill or St. Vincent de Paul or whoever? Do you need all that stuff? No wonder women worry about debt. No wonder women say they have no quality time. Women spend like drunken sailors and they don't pay any attention to saving or investing or planning because they leave that to the guy. Then when the guy drops you for a trophy wife, suddenly it's like, oh my God, I'm in debt and I'm alone and who's going to pay? Whose fault is it? Whose fault is it that women are not debt free? Whose fault is it that women don't find their careers financially rewarding? Whose fault is it that women have unfulfilling careers? How many women take jobs or get into careers that are just there to kill time until they find Mr. Right, Mr. Sperm Donor, Mr. Human Wallet? Careers designed that they can drop out of sight easily and never be heard from again. The women choose their own fate, don't they? 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. When you're alone, you wake up, you've got a hundred different things you can do in one day, right? When you're in a relationship, you have one thing, what she wants to do. It's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Look at it, for Christ's sake. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Yes, a survey of women says that the um, the luxuries women most desire are being debt free <laughs> and having more free time. Those are the luxuries women desire. Come on, is it any? wonder why they want to be debt free and they need more free time they need to work more hours to pay for all the crap they buy and they need to pay the debt on their master cards for god's sake armando on the tom like his show hello yeah i wanted to say that uh the fact that uh m most uh societies nowadays are male dominated that this affects every single uh woman on this planet and, and i'll just give you a quick couple of facts uh, women make up more than uh, two, th um, more than half of the world's uh, population, yet own less than one tenth of the world land mass. And also, um, if whose you think fault about is it, that? Wait, whose fault is that? I say it's a male-dominated society. Oh, uh, it's a male-dominated society because that's the way women want it. Women won't even vote for a woman. You know, it's possible that women might vote for a woman candidate as soon as a good one comes along. Whose fault? Whose fault? Whose fault is it that a good one hasn't come along? Well, what I'm saying though. Whose is fault oh, is it that a good one hasn't come along? I would say men. Uh, if you think really? about it. So who are these? Who are these women candidates who are being prevented from becoming uh, good candidates? Well, the, can I finish? A no, little, you uh, can't. Not until we're done having this part of the conversation. You can't. Okay. Well, I don't even want. I don't have to bring up. No, All right, fine. If you don't want to talk about it, uh, then don't talk about it. But you're not going to tell me out of the conversation. I'm going to tell you. You seem to forget who makes the rules on this show. <laughs> you're not going to tell me how to do the pro. I, I am amazed at people like that who call in here and try to tell me how to do the show. Don't mess with me. Seriously, this is my show. 
I just press the button because it's my show. You're not going to tell me how to have the conversation or what direction it's going to take. You're not going to tell me we're jumping ahead in the conversation. You're not the boss here. If you want to be the boss, get your own goddamn show. Seriously. It's outrageous. Can we just skip ahead? No. No, we can't. 1-800-5800-TOM. Women are more worried about their debts. More worried about having more free time than they're worried about their marriages. Why do you think that is? 1-800-5800-866 is our telephone number. This is Kay on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Kay. I mean, hi, Tom. Hi, Kay. How are you? Great. Well, basically, I just wanted to say, you know, a couple of things. One, I disagree with the study, but I can actually see where they can get that information from because I know a lot of women do follow what that study says and I just would like to say that there are a few of us that do not follow that I do not go well uh, there are a few women who do all kinds of things I mean the, the, there are exceptions to every rule what does that prove yeah in regards to it proves only the fact that not the norm is like that I can see well where... for example Oprah Winfrey's not like that okay and she's phenomenally wealthy but how many Oprah Winfrey's are there exactly, exactly. And, who, and whose fault is that I don't, I don't think it's a fault. I think more of a dormant state that we seem to be when as, uh, in as women. I have three daughters myself, and my number one thing is to propel them to want to be what they want to be, whatever it is they want to be. And it's our duty as women. You know what? If I may it. interfere in your child rearing for a second, that's not enough. I, I, I believe children, boys and girls, need to be told that whatever you become should be financially rewarding. That's exactly what I tell because, my daughter. Because so many little girls who are told by their moms they can do anything they want, be anything they want, they major in English lit, they major in poetry, they major in psychology, they major in other uh, uh, courses of study that aren't necessarily going to result in a lucrative income. I agree. And my way of telling them to succeed in the future is to do what's going to make them not only financially happy, but also emotionally happy. What's going to satisfy you? Because at the end of the day, you've got to do what's going to make you happy. Cosmetology, a computer tech, you don't have to go to college, but you've got to do something to be able to sustain yourself. Well, cosmetology is going to make you happy, but how much money are you going to make getting $5 tips from people at Supercuts? Oh, absolutely. Well, that's where it comes, where you strive to do the best. There, where you become what you want to become, you can only become what you put into it. Right. If you don't put your effort into it, you're not going to get anything. You're going to be a super cut salon hair cutter. That's However, right. it, that, what I tell them is you've got to do what you've got to do to do what you want to do. You're not going to... One of my daughters wants to be a superstar. Absolutely, you want to be a superstar. Everybody wants to be a superstar, but you've got to do what you've got to do to get there. Right. And some of the things are not going to be very nice, and they're not going to be Christian-like like we would like them to be. And those are choices you're going to be faced with in the future. I agree with you with the fact that as women, we need to stand up and teach our daughters better ways of being. However, you know... There are some of us who are number one priority when our husbands do do all the working, and we do not, because basically my work is at home. And free time, there is no free time. There's no free time until you're done doing what you need to do with your kids, basically. And if you do have free time, spend it on other kids and other girls so they can be propelled to become president maybe in the future if that's what they strive to be. A zero tolerance policy, the BS word can't be said on the air. You're out! I mean, come on. Get with the program here. 1-800-5800-TOM. Now, telling your daughter she can be anything she wants to be, I think that's dangerous. Sure, you can be anything you want to be. You can be homeless. You can be a drug addict. You can uh, work in a Vietnamese nail salon. Sure, you can be anything you want. You can, uh, say, paper or plastic. You can hand out flyers on street corners. You can smoke weed all day. Sure, you can be anything you want. But is that really what you want to tell your daughter? Are you kidding me? If you don't want daughters who are worried about having free time and being debt-free, you have to tell them not only to do something that's fulfilling, but to do something that's lucrative. 
and figure out what that is before you waste hundreds of thousands of dollars going to college. You know, people can call in here and say, you hate living here, Miss Andrew. I'm trying to give you practical, pragmatic advice here, folks. You think you women hate? No, I'm not. I'm being honest. You can't spend your careers spending your time doing nothing but 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 uh, being a preschool teacher or uh, running a daycare center. These jobs pay crap. I don't care how fulfilling you think they are. And if you think that Prince Charming is going to ride in on his white horse and pick you up and then pay off your visa bill, your MasterCard bill, your student loan, your car loan, you are dreaming. You're dreaming. one 800 tom that's our telephone number. Alfredo on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, I, I've i been listening to you for a little while, and I uh, I finally uh, am able to speak to you. I need your advice. All right. Um, I, I, I want to be a newspaper reporter, and uh, I want to be a newspaper reporter. Uh, and I just want to get an idea, um, what, what is the uh, benefit? Financially, on on that kind of a career. Are, are, are you paying any? Att- By the way, do you want to do it in English or Spanish? English. English. Have you paid any attention to what's happening to newspapers? Um, not very much. They're dying. Um, they're dying. They're dying. Okay. When I came to Los Angeles twenty years ago, the Los Angeles Times had over two million subscribers. Do you know how many readers the L.A. Times has now? No, I really don't know. Uh, about 800,000. About 100,000? 800,000. 800,000. Yeah. Well, a little more than a third of what they had when I arrived here 20 years ago. They have fired hundreds of people over that period of time. As they've been sold a couple of times and merged... Uh, the newspaper business is lousy right now. I read a story recently in Business Week magazine. I'm sure our listeners don't read it, but I do. And the story said this. Newspapers are considering some of the following things. I'm not making this up. Check uh, businessweek.com and uh, check it out for yourself. Among the things newspapers are considering doing, not publishing every day. How would you like it if suddenly, like the Los Angeles Times came out on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, man, go to our website. Uh, I did not say the LA Times is considering it. I don't know if they are or not, but they said that major newspapers are considering cutting back the number of days they publish. Uh, many newspapers have already cut back the number of pages of content. Have you looked at the LA Times recently? Have you seen um, how skinny it's gotten? Uh, yeah, I mean, I... Uh, one day the sports I, section, one day the sports section in the Los Angeles Times was six pages long. That was it. It's a pamphlet. It's a newsletter. It's not even a newspaper anymore. All right. So what I'm trying to tell you is, if you want to be a reporter, you have to think bigger than just newspapers. You have to think of reporting as something that is... Just like software on a computer, okay? The computer is a delivery system, and it delivers whatever the software uh, is is telling it to deliver, okay? So, for example, um, in radio, you can be on AM, or you could be on FM, or you could be on satellite radio, or you could be on the Internet. You could be any number of places. The content stays the same, but the delivery system or the platform is different, News. Um, by the way, my dad worked at a newspaper for 43 years, the New York Post. Newspapers are a dying, dying platform. So you have to think, maybe I'm a reporter for Google. Maybe I'm a reporter for Yahoo. Maybe I'm a reporter for Slate. Rather than just thinking of yourself as a newspaper reporter. Do you see what I'm saying? Yes, I do. Okay. So now, if you think on that bigger premise, then what do you want to do? You want what? What do you want to know at that point? You want to know what? What, what kind of education to get, or how lucrative it is? Yeah, I. I that, that's one of the research that I am um, 
working on. Um, well, the very best uh, people who, uh, the, look, the very highest uh, compensation goes to people on television at this point in time. All right. Um, not, not newspaper reporters. Oh, not newspaper. No. Okay, uh, now, what is the difference between newspaper reporter and a television reporter? Is there any way, is there any point where you go uh, from in most one... Case, you, want, you want to know the difference in most cases? Look, no, I... you want to know the difference? Looks. Yes, I do. I just told you. Looks. 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 Who looks better? Oh, looks. Looks. Appearance. Appearance? Ever, so if, if, ever uh, see what newspaper reporters look like on TV when they go on a TV show? You Can't you always tell the newspaper reporters from the TV uh, reporters or the TV anchors? Yeah. Ever yeah. watch a TV show on ESPN called... Uh, uh, what's that one? They have that uh, round table of uh, sports reporters on it. You know, they've got like, the, they're in all different cities. You know the one I'm talking about. It's on during the day. There's another show. Uh, there's all these shows where they put on uh, sports reporters. Who looks better, the host of the show or the reporters? Uh, the, the reporters. No, they don't. Well, they, they normally put... Now, who you know, looks better? Can you understand the question? All right. Who yeah, has I, a, who appears better looking? Jesus. Uh, well, most of if the, you're looking at a TV show, is this even worth the explanation here? There's a TV show, and there, Campbell Brown is the host on CNN, like you've ever watched Campbell Brown on CNN. So Campbell Brown is the host on CNN, and then she's interviewing four newspaper reporters who's better looking campbell brown or the fo the reporter from the chicago sun times who is better looking uh, the, the tv reporter that's oh. right yes 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 you just asked me what's the difference between the newspaper reporter and the tv reporter's looks the TV reporter looks better and therefore is paid more because of this society we value looks over substance. That's how it is. All right. Uh, well, you know, I, I see uh, I, I think TV reporters very young, and I figure it doesn't take very much to be a, become a reporter. But uh, now that you're saying, uh, you know, I what do you mean it doesn't it, takes very much? It, it does takes very much. Well, um, I, I mean, how much would it take for how about, a person? How about, how about some education? What is, well, well, what, well, yeah, what is your, from what college did you get your college degree? No, I don't have a college degree. Hello? How do you think you're going to get a job as a journalist? Well, um, I mean, I'm going to take some courses. No, no. no, no now what? No, 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 not at a trade school. It doesn't work that way. I mean, how well read are you? Mm, not that well. How are you going to do reporting if you're not well read? Well, I have to start somewhere. I mean, I no, I, I'm I, gonna... yeah, you got to start by getting an education. All right. A grammatically correct English would be a good start. <laughs> don't laugh. No, no, I, I'm not I don't mean to make I don't mean to make fun of you. I'm, you want you? <laughs> this is a tall order. You have to be able to speak and write correct English. I mean, I my writing is a little better than my it, speaking. But but the point is, you want to be a journalist. Journalists are writers. Okay. Yeah, and on television, you have to speak. All right. Let me I mean, do you, you even do you even know enough to be a journalist? You know, like. Do you, do you know about, like, government? Do you know about the news? Do you know what's going on? It appears you don't. Um, no, not very much. Um, well, how do you think you're going to be a journalist? Uh, well, I'm going to um, go to school, you know, uh, get started, work hard. What, you can't, but you can't get this by going to DeVry, son, okay? you got to go to a real university. Oh, okay. All right, um... Are you well, too late? Are you too lazy to go to no, a university? No, no, no. no I, uh, I mean, I, right now I have a full time job, but, but uh, I want to combine my, uh, my my job with uh, with an education. You know. Well, I, I understand that, but uh, why didn't you go to college in the first place? Um, 
Well, you know, um, you had what a let me guess, you had a girlfriend. No, 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 no. What, what you happened? You a wife. That, you got a baby mama. No, no, no. What happened is that uh, I, I I took a job uh, for only for about a year. No, it wasn't for about a year because you're 24 and you're still not in college. Yeah. Well, I mean, I that took it for six about a year. Years. It's six years. You know, you graduated high school. If you graduated, we don't even know that six years ago. Six years ago, but you know that's that's my problem. That you know, uh, you know, when you start something, and you never know if you if you're gonna get out of it. You know, that's that was my mistake. You know, so I started working. Well, why did you start working before you went to college? Because I uh, I wanted to make some money. You know. Yeah, but why why didn't you do both simultaneously? You get a job and you go to school. Well. You know, sometimes we learn from our mistakes. All right, so you made a mistake. Later, not, you know... So, you, what, you know, so now, now you figure out, what school are you planning on going to to study journalism? Um, well, uh, I'm going to have to go to school that be, like, close to my house. I live in the San Fernando area, uh, possibly the Northridge or... Um, Mich um, Cal State Northridge? North Mission Hills. Mission Hello. Hills. Cal State Mission Hills? Yeah. All right. And what are you going to major in? Um, well, I, I, I'm going to start... Uh, you, you see, my plan was to become a, a newspaper journalist, but I, I'm i not that sure, you know. For, Alfredo, you have to start by reading the news every day. Okay. Which you haven't done. Yeah. Who's running for president? Uh, McKay. What's his first name? John. All right. And who's his running mate? Uh, his running mate? Yeah. Her uh, vice president? No, the, the, she's not the vice president. Who is his John McCain's running mate? It's only been on the front page of the paper now for a week. Okay. I, I forget her name, but I... I don't remember. Do you think journalists forget the name of the vice presidential running mate? Uh, no, 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 no. So what makes you think you're qualified to do that job? Because uh, I... Uh, you have no interest in the news. Well, I, I do. I mean, I, I, I... You know, one of the things that I'm really motivated to... But you're not motivated. Things, you no. are not motivated enough to go out to the driveway and pick up the newspaper. Oh, wait a minute! You don't subscribe, do you? Um, I, I mean, you got me on this one, but uh, uh, yeah, well, it's a big one. If you want to be a journalist, uh, how many papers do you read every day? Um, no, I read a little bit, like once every two weeks. Once I, I every two weeks. Much reading, you know, but so I, how would you be able to ask the correct questions if you don't know what's happening? Um, well, you're right. You're right. I mean, uh, I mean, you know, if, if I was a, a political newspaper reporter, then I would be prepared. You know, I would do my homework and I'd be prepared. You know, just like you. You, you know, you're good. So I, that, that's how I would do it. Yeah, but uh, I read the paper today. Did you? No, I mean, uh, no, no. I don't. I, by the way, I don't read it to be prepared. I read it because I like it. All you, right. you know, I was on vacation for a couple of days. Do you know I read the paper on those days? Do you know I watched CNN on those days? Did you? Uh, you mean the news? No, I. No, I. I I've been working a little late. So I haven't watched the news. But you know what? I work late too. Okay. Right. And uh, can you name one of the top five news stories right now? One of the top? Yeah, one of the top five news stories right now. Any one of the five. Okay, oh, any one of the five. Okay. Um, well, I haven't read any news today, but the latest ones that I, I'm, I'm aware of is the uh, uh, hurricane. Um, what is the news about the hurricane? You got me on this one, too. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't... Tr I, I, you, you know, one thing I know, you know, that, you know, I am currently working. 
And what I do right We're now, all I working. Do... I have a job, too. Yes. No, but what I'm saying is that, you know, when I do something, I do it good. Right. Uh, and that's... Uh, I that's do it good, one... too. Uh, and that's one of the things that I know. Whatever I do, I'll do it good. You know, I, okay. I'm, I'm not be good at everything, but I'd be good at one thing. Yeah, but the problem is, you see, if you're not interested in what's going on in the world, you wouldn't be a good journalist. All right. Um, Period. Period. By the way, yeah, that's right. I uh, mean, if you I, don't know the name of the vice presidential running mate, what was the controversy involving her? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I I heard everything about what's going on on, on her life, you know. What? Uh, she has a 70-year-old uh, girl, I mean, daughter that is pregnant, she's unmarried, um, and she has a, 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 a son, a, like a two-month uh, year, a two-month old son uh, that is uh, in, incapacitated. Wait a minute, wait a minute, hang on a second. I, I, I want, we, we're going to give you a chance, uh, we're going to try you out now uh, as a reporter. Are you ready, Alfredo? I'm ready. Okay, hang on, here it is. And now, the news. Here's Alfredo. Alfredo, go ahead. Yes, uh, hi, this is Alfredo. Um, we have the latest news of regarding uh, the vice president. Uh, the candidate for vice president, uh, we found out that she has a 17-year-old daughter that is pregnant and she's unmarried. And and uh, the vice president is um, is complaining about uh, all these people having these uh, unmarried sons, having children, and... Uh, she is not in favor of abortion. Uh, there is going to be, uh, as a consequence of these problems, there is going to be a, a lot of unhappy people. Uh, there is so many uh, different categories of uh, in which uh, some people need to, you know, have an abortion or make a decision on their own, and they don't need someone else to make a decision for them. You right. know what? You know what, Alfredo? I'm impressed. I'm sending this tape right off to Channel 13 immediately. Tom Likas. I'll date a woman for about like two months before she starts going, oh, well, you know, either we you know, become exclusive or ours. And it's like, oh, well, good knowing you. Bye. Simple. They cry, they moan, they, you know, whatever, but it doesn't, it doesn't faze me. I just okay, it works. You know what I mean? I do. I'm a Tom Likas listener to the fullest. Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood at 1-800-5-800-TOM. That is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. This all started with a story. <laughs> Forget about what Alfredo had to say there. What's your topic tonight, anyway? Well, uh, you know, Alfredo got in here and stuck his foot in the door, and you know what happened. But uh, it all started with a story about uh, women being more worried about being debt-free and having more free time than they are about their marriages. I'll tell you what, if I was married right now, I know how to give you more free time. Kick you the hell out and change the locks. That's what I do. You have plenty of free time, girls. 1 800 5 800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Sarah on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi. Hi. Um, I'm calling, you um, made a comment to, I think, two callers ago about um, how it would be. You you looked down on a woman opening like a daycare center or being a teacher because the pay is lousy. Okay, I'm a high school math teacher and I make seventy five thousand dollars a year in Southern really Cal happy. in Southern California. That's bus fare and a little more. Oh, I'm happy. I own a condo. So what? Well, I'm just saying that it's it's possible, and I'm so happy, and I'm living a great life. Uh, darling, uh, again, you're only twenty nine years old. How much, how much are you putting away for your retirement? Uh, 401k? 
I have a 403B and I have a Roth IRA. And how I much are you? How much are you putting in? Um, I'm at four thousand dollars in my Roth IRA and in my I put two hundred dollars in my 403B and then they you know like for the stirs they match your a monthly. Um, so you have four thousand dollars in a, in your IRA. You've been working for how many years? Seven years. You know you could have put twenty eight thousand dollars in there or so. Why is there only four thousand in there? You know why? Because you only so make seventy five thousand dollars a year. How much is in your four hundred three b? Um, twenty five thousand dollars right now. Total. And yes. are, aren't you allowed to put up to uh, what is it? Up to fifteen thousand or ten thousand or something like that per year in there? Right, but I probably couldn't afford to do that because you only make seventy five thousand a year. Are you starting to understand? This is what I'm trying to tell you. Seventy five. Seventy five. Why are you going to be fine? Because I've got stirs and I've got my four hundred three D. You've got, you've got, got wait, what's Roth. the first thing you have? I, I don't understand what that is. State teachers retirement system stirs. It's called. Oh, so it's a pension. Uh, yeah. yeah. And how much uh, per year uh, are you projected to be getting in pension? Eighty percent of your highest year that you your highest salary. Right. So when I'm and like how much 60, do you think? How much do you think that'll be worth? Well, when I'm sixty, my highest year might be like one twenty. By the time that rolls around. So I'd get 80% of 120, and I don't know, I'd be... 96000 a year, but that will be in 35 years? How much do you think $96,000 is going to be worth in 35 years? It'd be less than the 75000 you earn today. That's true, but with my Roth IRA and my 403B, I'm but you're, probably you're, fine. You're, 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 first of all, your Roth IRA has hardly anything in it. I know, but through the years, every year putting in more and more for the next... 30 years of my teaching career? Hey, unless you yeah. max it out, you're, you're just not going to go anywhere with that. Because, you know, the fees they charge you on those 403Bs? Do you, do you even know how much you're paying in fees to have that well, account? It's, it's tax-free when I get it out. Do my you, fees are small. Yeah, but I, what about, no, the fees are not small. How, do you know how much they are? I think it's about 100 a year. You think, but you're not sure. Last and what, are, what are you invested in? Oh, I mean, um, bonds, and I'm in some bonds? bonds. What kind of bonds? I don't know. What What's the name of the mutual fund? Um, it's through AXA Equitable. I can look it up, but I mean, well, why I don't you, Why that, don't you know? I think that being a like a teacher is a great thing to do, and it's they pay well, fine. And in the end, you're going to be like these women that they surveyed. You're not going to be debt free, and you're also not going to have a lot of free time. You know what? There is something that I do need to tell you because I agree with that. I actually have to work more. <laughs> I have my own private tutoring business and there I work we... for a textbook publisher. So if you're doing so well, why do you have to work other jobs? Because I I like to stay busy and I like... You like to stay busy, so you don't like free time. You don't like vacations. You don't like uh, taking a long weekend. You don't like that stuff. Um, during the week, I work hard. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So you see, what what I'm saying is true and now you just proved it. Yeah. <laughs> but that's okay. That's why you're on the show, right? That's why I'm here and you're there. Well, that's all I wanted to say. But I agree with a lot of your um, principles as far as men's roles and women's roles and that women are just money hungry. I totally agree with you. It, it happens a lot out there. So you're right. Thank you, Sarah. You're welcome. I'll talk Pre to you later. Appreciate the call. Here's Mike on the top. Here's a guy living in the dream world. Mike on the top like his show. Hello. How are you doing? I'm the first time, long time. Doing great. Fantastic. I just had to call in and comment on Alfredo. I mean, I hate to be mean, but the guy's really fishing in the wrong lake, if you know what I mean, because I'm in broadcasting class right now, and it's it's tough at best, even if you can speak correctly. Well, Alfredo said, you know, he does something. He believes in doing it good. Yeah. Well, maybe that's pushing a lawnmower, but as far as being a broadcast journalist... That's not going to work out for him because I could barely understand anything he was saying. Mm, I see. What do, you, what do you do, Mike? Um, my living, I actually um, I do oil and gas investments on in private companies. So I'm kind of doing the, the broadcasting on the side because you know, obviously, I like. Wait, wait, wait! You're doing wait, wait, wait! You're doing broadcasting on the side. That's. That, no, I'm not actually working, but I am in school for it. Oh, you're <laughs> you're you're uh, you're going to broadcasting school on the side. Yes, do that I in the I see. And uh, what is your uh, uh, career game plan here? Um, actually, 
I could move out of state and do this. I don't know if I really want to because I know that uh, unless I want to do this full time, I would have to move to Wyoming and do it for ten bucks an hour on the weekends. I'd have to go to Idaho, and I know you really have to work your way through a lot of markets to get anywhere near where you where you're positioned at. And there's not a whole lot of room for Adam Carollas and Tom Likases, and you know even look at Danny Bonaducci. He's you know he's only got an hour a day, but it's on the best market in the country. So I mean I know if I wanted it bad enough, I could probably be a personality in in you know Wyoming or Colorado. But I make more doing investments now than I would by far doing that in anywhere else. But I'd like to just maybe getting to. Uh, you know, because they teach you a lot of different fields there, production, reporting, uh, obviously, um, you know, a lot of reading copy and commercials, and, and I'm doing pretty good at that. So that, that could be something that I could do on the side to supplement my income. You understand that uh, this is a business also that has been contracting. Um, there's one radio station in Los Angeles that has no live personalities at all. Yeah, they feed it, like, um, from parts of the country. No, no. There's there, there's one station with an actor who goes on and reads the lines uh, during the uh, breaks. Okay. And that's it. And I think the guy lives in Canada. Wow. Talk about outsourcing. Our email address, Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.